Welcome. In front of me is a Huawei MateBook D15, and today I'll show you how to go through the setup of well Windows. So when you boot it up for the first time, you will see this screen right over here, and all you really need to do is choose basically all the uh, settings that you want. So starting off, we got the language. Uh, I will stick with English, but obviously you can select any other language from the list. From there, let's go to the next page. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there. Uh, Cortana, no one cares. Use your voice or the key. There we go. Uh, no one really cares about you, Cortana, so let's keep on going without you. Okay, so uh, now I guess we need to just wait for her to stop finishing, finish talking about however the heck you use this thing. Yep, so there we go. Um, so from here, select your region. I'm gonna stick with the one that I selected and go to the next page. Okay, now it finally stopped doing whatever it was doing, so we can now continue uh, to choose our keyboard layout. So I'm again gonna stick with the default one and go further. Uh, I want to add a second keyboard. No, I do not, so I'm gonna skip, select skip, but obviously if you want to add more than one, for instance, like uh, different keyboards, so you can have Russian and just normal English, uh, you would have to add one. So you can then later on uh, basically change them whenever you need to use one or the other. Then we have connect to network. Uh, I'm gonna try to set it up without it, so I'm just gonna select right here. And it looks like I can just Continue with limited setup. So it just gives me a couple things that I need. Uh, I will need to have for well, internet to have those. So I'm gonna skip those. And then we have user license agreement. Obviously, uh, I can read this if you want to. It's probably not my read. Uh, so I'm just gonna scroll through it, select accept. And then you can select the name of the device. Uh, so in here you will, I believe, need to put something, yep. Uh, so, write down whatever you want. There we go. Sorry for this wonky kind of setup here. Uh, because the device is basically not set up, I can't really do a screen record. So that's kind of why I'm using the camera here. So anyway, once you set up the name, I can then choose a password or just leave it empty if you don't want to set up any kind of password. And then choose privacy settings for your device. So we have obviously a plethora of different settings. So location, find my device, uh, diagnostic data, uh, inking and typing, and so on. So we can read what these do. If you don't want them, you can turn them off like so. And from there, just go to the next page. Which lets uh, Cortana help you get things done. Um, uh, this is, I believe, a setup. So what you will need to do is when you uh, accept it, it will basically try to train Cortana to your voice. So you'll need to read a bunch of sentences uh, that will, Windows will provide with you, uh, for you. And uh, and yeah, basically you teach Cortana uh, how you speak each word so it can recognize it easier later on. But I'll be just skipping it. I don't use Cortana. Now it brings up a window for auto update. Um, honestly, I, I don't think it matters what you select here if you continue or don't. Uh, Windows is an absolute uh, piece of work here and uh, it's just gonna force you to update anyway. Even if you like it or not, uh, you always get download in the background without your permission. And then once it's finished, it just kind of forces you to update. If you're gonna prolong it for too long, it's just gonna w one day decide to, nah, you're not using a computer today. It's gonna not first update. Now anyway, once you consent to that because you don't actually had a, you don't have another choice there, you're presented with the home screen right here. And there we go, that's the setup. 
So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.